first step you need to do is join your Mac server to an Active Directory controller. In order to do this, you need to run the directory utility application and then click the plus icon at the bottom left. You'll then be presented with a box where you need to select Active Directory on the top option. Then type your fully qualified domain name in the top box and then third and fourth, a username and password which has domain admin privileges or right access to the computer directory. This will only take a couple of seconds. As you can see, a green uh, light next to it means it's been connected to your Active Directory. You then need to run the application called Server Admin with the little globe at the bottom on the dock. This is the first time it's been set up, so you'll be presented with this box. You then need to allow two services to be run, Open Directory and SMB, and then click Save. You'll then notice uh, Open Directory is already running and SMB is also turned off. First of all, you need to turn on SMB. Now SMB is running, you then need to go to Open Directory. At the moment, it's currently classed as connected to a directory system. This is because you've already connected to an Active Directory. You then need to change it to be an Open Directory Master. Then provide a directory admin username and password. Sim simple. And then click Continue. This will only take a couple of seconds. Then done, this means that the Active Directory is, that, uh, is now allowed to work with Open Directory. But the process you've gone will turn off Kerberos on your Open Directory box. This means that there will be no conflicts in information. As you can see provided, Kerberos is currently turned off. But if you look in SMB, the realm is currently pointing to domain.com, which is the Active Directory controller. Now this is done, you now can administrate your open directory or your accounts. So to do this, if you go to Workgroup Manager and then click uh, put your username and password in Connect. You'll notice at the top where it says Viewing Directory, you can now click Active Directory. Then click Active Directory. And then you can see all of your Active Directory students and all of your user accounts. You can also see the home directory, which is currently pointing to. This is all picked up off all of the attributes of the user account. Now you're going to be shown how to set up groups in Open Directory and allow them to be linked with Active Directory groups. You need to go back to your LDAP 127001 account, and now we're going to create a group. First, you need to authenticate on the right with the padlock with your directory admin details. And now we're going to create the group. For this example, we're going to create one called Students Group. You cannot have the groups the same name as your Active Directory group. You then need to add your Active Directory group within an Open Directory group. To do this, just search your Active Directory or groups and then type in your student group and then drag it across and then simply just save what you've done. Now you can set preference options. So because the groups have been inside it, you can now set how the dock is viewable for students which are within the Active Directory group students. So as you can see below, I'm adding a couple of stack a couple of items into the dock. So I've added the calculator, I can add that, and I can also add a couple of document folders. So, for example, if you had a special like uh, shared item or groups folder, you can do that. And you can also merge it with the current user doc. In this case, we're not going to. And we want to show my applications in Network Home. And then you can apply these settings. Obviously, at the top, you see the options never, once, or always. In most cases, in a school, you want to always have always set. You can also set applications, application control. You can set what applications are accessible. This is a very uh, useful utility even in a school environment. You can set which applications and which folders can be accessed. As you can see, I'm selecting a number of applications there, for example. And I can just simply click Add. It then reads all of the information from the programs to check if it's signed. This will take a couple of seconds. And then it will add it to the list. As you can see, all the applications there, and then you apply.
now we can now set up a new group for teachers. So we set up a staff group, so it's not the same name, and then we then add the same again, we add the Active Directory group with all of the teachers in. So as you can see, I'm now searching for the staff group. Teachers group. And click Save. Same process, you can then set the preferences for staff. So you're individually exactly the same with a window setup, controlling per groups of exactly what they can and cannot see. And as you can see, for this case, I've selected every single application to allow access. And then just click Apply again. And that is how you set up your Mac server from scratch to join to an Active Directory controller and how to administrate your users and groups within five to six minutes. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Remember, for more presentations, visit howtomac.co.uk. Thanks very much.